Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Pony Up On Trade, or Fichet for short. This is just a special edition of one of my videos. Um, okay, so maybe you guys didn't notice, but you guys saw that advertisement of Justin Bieber on the Macy's commercial, where everybody starts screaming because they see Justin Bieber uh, shopping at Macy's on Black Friday. Well, that's pretty much a fail, okay? Um, Macy's is kind of targeting their products at adults over the age of 30 who want to look ritzy and expensive and uh, very, very luxurious, right? So if you're selling stuff that's called Ralph Lauren, all right? So Ralph Lauren, I don't know if you guys know what Ralph Lauren is, but Ralph Lauren is basically a brand of uh, clothing that appeals to an older audience and it's sold in Macy's or one of the main outlets that Ralph Lauren is sold at is in Macy's. Um, Ralph Lauren is typically an $80 t-shirt to around $150 to $200. Uh, I don't understand why you would stick Justin Bieber uh, on top of a company that sells $150 to $200 t-shirts to an audience that's over the age of 30 years old. Last time I checked, Justin Bieber doesn't really appeal to people that are over the age of 30, much less over the age of 20 years old. So again, you know, Macy's, I think Macy's has made a huge mistake with their marketing. I don't think Macy's is actually using their advertising appropriately to target their exact market. Um, Macy's should be using a person that's, uh, that looks kind of like what their brand wants to promote, like a person like James Bond or Pierce Brosnan or something, but I don't see why Justin Bieber is used. So again, a lot of what's caused Macy's stock to rise has been better cost management and they've had moderate revenue growth, but it's not something that could be attributed to anything that a celebrity could really do, much less advertising somebody or using somebody like Bieber on an advertisement for Macy's is like asking, um, asking a person that's over the age of 50 to buy into what some little kid uh, who sings music, I, I, it, just, it just doesn't make much sense to me. Um, maybe if they used Justin Bieber to advertise Toys R Us or Barbies, that would probably make much more sense than trying to use but Justin Bieber to advertise for Macy's. And yeah, you might th assume that, oh, maybe by going to Macy's I'll be associated with a celebrity. The one celebrity you don't want to be associated with when you're over the age of 30 is definitely, <laughs> definitely not Justin Bieber. So again, I can't agree with Macy's advertising strategy. I'm not a total hater of Justin Bieber, but at the same time, I have to disagree with what Macy's is doing recently. Um, Macy's has been able to manage their costs more effectively, but by signing on celebrities like Bieber to advertise their product, they, lose, they stand to lose a lot of money in terms of revenue. And um, it's just not the type of branding image that they're trying to promote, and it's not to the right audience. So again, that does it for me for today. Uh, fundamentally, I don't like Macy's marketing strategy and uh, Macy's uh, marketing, uh, or in retail, marketing is very important. Um, if you're not very good at marketing, chances are your company won't make much money. And therefore, if Macy's, well, if Macy's advertising strategy doesn't work, which I'm starting to think it really won't work, um, I'd have to say, I'd, I'd really, I honestly have to recommend you guys to stay away from Macy's. Um, and you know, that's, that's just the way it is. Um, I'm not trying to say anything negative about Justin Bieber, but Justin Bieber's face shouldn't be on Macy's. It should be put on something like Toys R Us uh, for, and aimed at a much younger audience. Okay, so that is it for me for today. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment right below. I'm sure you guys will be very mad at me for making fun of Justin Bieber, even though I didn't really make fun of Justin Bieber. Uh, but again, that is it for me for today. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you hate me for this, well, go ahead and dislike the video, because quite frankly, I don't care. All right, bye.